It was the scariest day of my life. I just felt very uncomfortable um, and I thought maybe this is part of the pregnancy. They told me that I had um, preeclampsia. Uh, my blood pressure was very, very high, over 200, and they had to deliver her really quick. And I kept telling them that she's not going to survive. She's only, I'm only 23 weeks. At 245 grams, there's reservations on survival. They told my husband that he had about an hour with her and that she was going to pass away. But that hour turned into two hours, which turned into a day, which turned into a week. So we do everything we know how to do as well as we can. And um, after that, it's really up to our babies. Um, so some really have the strength to, to go through what they have to go through and grow outside the womb. She's a, a miracle, that's for sure. We had so many nurses, but her primary nurses were just, they became friends. I, I don't want to cry. <sighs> I mean, look at all those signs. They made it. You know, I would come in, and then it's like, happy birthday, Mom. It's just... <sighs> I'm so grateful for them. I'm just really proud of them and the baby and to see, see I told you. <laughs> um, just like see them transform as parents and see this little baby go home that usually is like completely against all odds. I am waiting for this day. I wanna go. We want to go, we're, if we go home today, I don't think we can forget the state. We should celebrate this date every mm -hmm. time, huh? It's going to be a special moment for us. I just want her to know how strong she is and how, I mean, if she can start off where she was and do as well as she can be, there's nothing she can't do. It was a beautiful experience. I love this hospital. Everybody, everybody from, the, I mean, the staff, from the security guard, whenever I come in, how's your day? Sometimes you just want to hear somebody asking, how's your day? I mean, I, I, I feel blessed. I mean, she, she is the smallest baby, but 